Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to give you a little dial, a little ring up here, and see if we can get Tracy Lorenz and Ranger Bob. Oh. Okay, so we got Tracy, but oh, there we got Mark, too. All right. Yellow. Hello. Yellow. All right. So, well, you know, John, <laughs> we kind of arranged this around John Russell to be here because he really yeah. wanted to talk to Mark, and he, you know, of course, he wanted to meet with, with Tracy because Tracy beats him at uh, at uh, trivia all the time, and but, of course, John got called into work, so he couldn't he couldn't come up here. So, it's, so Juicho, but hey, Mark, 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 well, I don't know. I don't ask him. I don't ask those questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I ask those questions? You might have made it up. Yeah, well, you might have. I don't know. You might have said, well, I don't want to go to that damn house again and sit in his freaking basement. Right. But, yeah, kind of like, you know, kind of like you, Tracy, where, you know, with the, uh, you know, Getting with the injury? the pretend in injury. Yeah, yeah. What injury are you pretending? What? I hurt my neck. Yeah, he hurt himself. <laughs> He was looking up girls' skirts and hurt his neck. Oh, wow. Look at the shiny shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Catholic school. Yeah, Catholic school, you know that stuff, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know there's a God when you see the Catholic Central out. Yeah. Uniform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it, the, yeah. The USC cheerleader uniform. Is very oh, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, didn't they dress them like in robes or something? I don't know. No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't been okay. to you know close to a Catholic school in a long time. They won't let me. But you know, that's another story. Stay a hundred yards. <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. Just kidding. Really, really, just kidding. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, we're getting off to a really good start. Are we recording this? Are we live now? Oh, we're live, man. We're live. We're going on the air. We're going across the world right now. Okay, then I, I will not tell you the story of the. Uh, uh, Day that they sold cookies and stuff at Catholic Central. Oh, okay. I'll save that for a different time when no one else can hear it. <laughs> man, that's I'm so bummed. I know, right? We're, yes, we're all ready for okay. it. Yeah, well, man. In He's... the Catholic Central um, lunch room, there's a stage, and there's in the lunch room is below the stage, about you know three feet. So on Fridays, the cheerleaders and other girls would have bake sales up on the stage so when you got a class you sprinted to the lunchroom to get chairs right next to the stage because you're basically just sitting there looking straight up their skirt oh yeah there you go yeah and you probably okay, still yeah. do that don't you you pervert like three feet above you and you would just yeah it was just a mad it was a See? mad dash of every male in the school to get to that lunchroom and <laughs> and and so ends the story well, of how you hurt your neck <laughs> To stop them, yeah. Now yeah, you were there to stop injury. Them. <laughs> this is 40 years ago. Huh. Wow. Yeah, wow. I was there warning the girls. Yeah, sure the you were. Around, yeah. Nobody right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, up. I believe that, that, that too. Yeah. I'll you for the safe care. <laughs> <laughs> this going to be in your next book? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's another reason. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta order your book. Yeah, I, gotta I gotta read it. I, I gotta wait for my parents to die before I write the good stuff. Oh, okay, that's yeah, problem. yeah, that's probably, that's probably true. <laughs> I gotta yeah. wait them out, then I can write the. <laughs> <laughs> I told the story. I told the story to uh, to Ranger Bob and and Jojo. Uh, it was the last week or whatever, but uh, about our my GI Joe experience, and they kind of looked at me. Well, they kind of just didn't say anything. They just kind of. <laughs> Yeah. said nothing so it's like well i guess like some stories i guess you shouldn't share but you know <laughs> some stories hey, it's out yeah. there now who cares i'm still tra i'm still traumatized put lipstick on a, put lipstick on a yeah, show. no no i no no it wasn't nothing like that it was it was destruction is what it was so yeah you know kind oh, of yeah. A strange destruction in easy bake oven hey there you go the, uh, that would that would the probably cook them chamber that would put cook them in the interrogation chamber put them in the, in the oven yeah that would cook them in about four or five years, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe well, maybe the nose would die. melt a talk. bit. <laughs> you remember, remember the GI Joes with the fuzzy head? Remember they had yeah. and real hair, and it was like fuzz on their head. Yeah. Like cool table. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember yeah. how they had springs? Their head were on springs, like you could pull the head off as a little spring inside. Oh yeah, yeah. I never yeah, pulled so the head pull off. Pull the but head yeah. off. Oh. 
you pull the head off and drop a firecracker in there and put the head back on. Oh, yeah. Place, and we, it would blow the arms and legs and head right off, and we could put them all back together yeah. and do it again. Yeah. Yeah. They kept on giving this little, you know, I know. Thing. Well, you know, we should do that with model cars that we made, but I never did it with a yeah. GI oh. Joe. I never thought of that. Dang. <laughs> I almost, I almost want to see if I can find a 12, 12 inch GI Joe now and, and, and do that to it up. just to see. Yeah. Yeah. He's Watch his head shoot. His neck and, yeah. His head shoots right off. His arm shoot right off. Wow. Back up, wow. Back. I suppose I could probably find a Barbie. I'd probably do the same thing. Oh, he, he, that one doesn't snap though. Does it? Yeah, no. The Barbie. It does the same thing. It does it? Oh, so you've done it to Barbie, too. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You Catholic boys, man, I tell you. There was was another one called Big Susie. We used to blow her (laughs) up. Big Susie. Really? (laughs) There was a Big Susie? I don't remember that one. I don't have any sisters, so these were like, you know, neighborhood kids would have to bring these things over. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I I had had like, I have four girls, so, you know, I... Uh, Saw all that stuff. I believe Big Susie, you cranked her like a thing in her belly button, and her hair got longer and shorter. <laughs> I do that. Yeah. When I get out of the shower, I just crank my belly button, and my hair grows yeah. back. You know, yeah, yeah. Your hair goes, sticks back up. Set it up like for a mullet. Like a, yeah. What are those printers? Like a really slow 3D printer. <laughs> it's your hair. Okay. And then when it runs out of ink, then it just prints white. So your oh. hair is kind of like a 3D printer. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. Just <laughs> really slow. It's a very slow 3D printer. We were we were talking. I know now. There's something with I was talking to Ranger Bob about. I think it was last week or whenever about the the whole Beatles thing. You know, as far as the How reverse. Come I can't get a name like Ranger Bob. I want a name. You know. Like yeah. Ranger. Well, it's a special special name just for him. Well, the, the, there's not. There's nothing wrong with your name. It's very rememberable. Yeah, that yeah. too. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah, yeah well, you know, we're, talk, we're talking. We're talking on Facebook about uh, different bands and stuff, and he's never heard of Uriah Heep, but I bet you Mark's never heard of Uriah Heep either, right? I've heard of them. I've heard, yeah, I've oh. heard of them. I just couldn't, you know, remember any big hits. Of, well, there wasn't really any big hits. I mean, it was it was an FM thing. It was a rock and roll thing. So yeah, I mean, they didn't play that kind of rock. I don't think here in Muskegon, you know. <laughs> I don't think it made it here in Muskegon. Yeah. It's more Detroit based, you know. And well, you know, big city based. Put it that way. Big city based. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm trying to stay away from bands with the name Heap in them. <laughs> Heap. Uh, Heap. Just, yeah. Well, yeah. Probably. <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah. I have really. No, I don't know. Them. It was a. Uh, it was one of my sister's boyfriends that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That he had. He had that record and he he played it. We played the Sweet Freedom album with. Uh, was stealing on it and it was like man it was such a great i thought it was such a great album and then i ended up buying magician's birthday and and um demons and wizards and all that all the strange things and then you know looking what is it what is it anyway all the all the uh you right heap albums after that and just you know just really enjoyed did them you, so uh, did you have a prom date Bench. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh-uh. No, I was pretty much. I was pretty much stag all the time. Yeah. I think you're right. He's kind of a repellent. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, maybe music. It depends on what kind of women you're looking for. On your clothes and play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My clothes and play. Yeah. Actually, you know the the stereo I had. It was like one of those big wooden cases you know with it and i kind of modified it and everything put it installed an a-track in it and yeah it was it was pretty cool so put some put some extra speakers in there yeah 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 it was awesome the cabinet (laughs) the cabinet yeah the one with the cabinet yeah Mm -hmm. got the got the old saw and cut the hole for the for the a-track player Mm, stealing it yeah i know well you know i I think everybody in the neighborhood wanted to i mean you know especially when they saw that a-track yeah did it did it hurt your shoulder when you went outside and like like a boombox? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> around. Yeah, well, you remember that? I don't know if you remember the old Panasonic, the big, huge Panasonic with the big, huge speaker in it. That was oh, yeah, yeah, the one speaker. I mean, that thing was durable as heck. I drop it and everything else, and it just kept on going. Played your played your cassettes and radio it was My great. My college stereo, which I won at Woodland Mall. Which had an eight-track recorder on it. Yeah, actually, but it had some pretty big speakers. I mean, it was, you know, it's like a hundred watts. It's like a good stereo. And the last time I saw those speakers, they were on fire and floating down the Red Cedar River outside my apartment. <laughs> and the reason why is 
No, just another party out of control. Oh, I remember, okay. I remember a girl kicking them and saying, I think I found a woofer. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> like, you know they were on fire and they were going down the river. Oh, well, well, I'll get another one. Steroids are cheap. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you remember the remember the little square box ones with just the speaker in the center, and it was an eight track player. Oh yeah, yeah. And oh those, yeah, those were those yeah. were cool. And then of course, yeah. you know, like I say, I I, I got kicked out of uh, I got kicked out of a stereo place because I kept sitting in those I remember those egg chairs. Yeah, I'd ch- uh-huh. check out the egg chair and crank it up and blow the speakers, and they'd piss get pissed off and kick me out. So, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> younger years, man. Younger years. Yeah. But we t- we were talking about that on Facebook before we go to the Beatles thing. We were talking about that on Facebook as far as some of the things that we used to do when we were younger, and we got away with it because like, it started with that one little thing I posted about the kid falling over on a bike, <laughs> and you know, waiting for the mother to come save him, right. and and, uh, and that kind of started the whole thing. Him until mom woke you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Pretty much, yeah. So yeah, and that happened to me like three times. I mean, I got hit by a car three times and I survived it somehow. So that's what I that's the reason why I'm so terrible at trivia because you knocked it all out of my head when I got Seriously? Hit seriously? Yeah, seriously. I had, I had a paper out for for 4 years, 5 years. Oh, okay. And you don't so remember you, any of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> You know, one time I was I was excited because I was going to get a customer. It was that one customer I needed to get that whatever that was prize I wanted to get. And I went flying across the road, and a car hit me, and I, I went flying. The bike was okay. It was big Schwinn heavy duty, you know, so not a scratch on the bike. But I went sliding across. But anyway, so that was that was one time. Another time was I was going to get my mom and dad those little push-up pops, those orange push-up pops. Remember those? Yep. Yeah, at the, the party store yeah. down the road, went across the street, got hit, bike was totaled. I, you know, flew off and I don't know what I did, but anyway, I was pretty scratched up. The guy wanted me to go to the hospital. My sister was there to take me to a Tiger baseball game. And I said, no, I want to go to the baseball game. But he insisted that I go get checked out. I said a couple of scrapes and, you know, I was fine. Well, I, I just landed up. on my head. Did, Come on. Did you save the push-ups? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, never got to the push-ups. This was going across the street to get to the store to get the push-ups. Can so, you put them on your wounds? They're cold. Yeah, yeah, that would have worked. <laughs> but the other time was I I didn't get hit, but I almost got hit. I, what I did, I was riding, you know, when you do a paper route, you have baskets on the, on the sides, and I had a basket in the front, you know, so I could put all the papers in because I was Detroit News, and that, those were big papers on the weekend. But anyway, so I'm, so I'm riding on the road, and a mirror happened to catch my basket on the on the, the the one side, and took me down. And all I heard was Aah! this big squeeching sound. And I turned my head, and here's this tire next to my head, <laughs> just just a little bit farther. It would have got me, but you know. Anyway, so 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 now I don't I don't ride bikes anymore. I never got I never got hit by a car. No. Yeah, well, sure yeah, but, yeah, but you lived in Mus- remember- you lived in Muskegon. I mean, come on, I lived in I lived in the city. You know, in the city, it was just like something you had to do to be part of the city. <laughs> Get hit by a car <laughs> to join the club. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Doctors in. <laughs> yeah, much like when I was in, in electronics. In electronics, you, you weren't an electronic technician until you joined the thirty k club. I mean, come on. I joined it quite a few times. <laughs> a lot of questions being answered today. I know, right? Right. See, this is why I'm so terrible at trivia when you when I play trivia. You guys yeah. are taking away all my points now that you you got me in trivia. That's the reason why you got me in trivia, right? So you could take my points. I uh, you said you wanted to play. Uh, <laughs> you were you were warned that I was. Know, I know. I know. You and John are pretty yeah. good. Yeah. You ever play that trivia, Mark? Which, which I trivia? I don't know. Facebook yeah. quiz. It's kind of like rockets. No. You with rockets, and there's I don't know. Yeah, yeah. no, I've, 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 I've never played a thousand games. I can't even think what it's called. Well, you know, I'm, I'm awful. I'm awful at that stuff. I probably know it, but the, the pressure, I just I, I know. Cave. That's me. Yeah. That's me. Because they give you like a time limit too, and I would, you know, every test I ever took that had a time limit, I always failed because yeah. I just cannot yeah. handle the time limit thing. And they only give you yeah, like what ten seconds, would, don't they? Not even that. Yeah, I'd say five. Because you got to read it. And then pick the right answer, 
in that short time, and I can't do it. I'm, I mean, and then I then I pick the wrong one, and it shows me the right one, and it's like, I knew that, you know. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> and when I'm not playing it and watching somebody else do stuff like that, I'm great at it. Like with that backward song thing you did, yeah. Oscar. Everybody, yeah. everybody that you did it with, when I was listening to it, I'd be like, oh, I know what that one is. And then, you know, when I when I'm in the heat of the moment, yeah. You know. yeah. Well, Tracy's yeah. Tracy's a champion. I yeah. Think. We think. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We, it's I, I oh, counted it I'm again. The championship. You you then taking that as the official count. Yeah. Well, like I say, I put it one. I put it on I put it on uh, uh, YouTube so people can can watch it over again, put themselves through that misery, and they can count <laughs> themselves and see what they think. But I think <laughs> I think it was you. I'm just quieter. I mean, those guys have radio yeah. voices. I don't. Well, I mean, you know, it was, it was you and Lou that were on, and I couldn't tell the difference between the two of you half the time. There was a couple of times where I said, yeah, Lou, you got it, and it was you that said it, you know? Yes, yeah. So. Just yeah. bad officiating. That's all it really I was. I know. Well, you know, yeah. that's what, I, that's what uh, John said, that I need somebody here to, to do all the, the counting, and I just, you know, push but the buttons. But in either event, John lost. Yeah. He was never. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, we thought John was the winner, but yeah, John lost. Yeah. So, yeah, John, sorry. Yeah, and and Lou is pretty good. So I mean, he came. I mean, it was all close. It was what I think Lou got nineteen, and I don't know. Anyway, you had like twenty two or twenty three, something like that. But yeah, it was close. But so so anyway, we were talking. We were talking about all that stuff that you did when you were a kid that you can't do now because you know, like you know. Somebody mentioned something about, yeah, my mother used to, you know, cut up the chicken, then butter my bread. You know, you wouldn't do that now because of, you know, salmonella. With the same knife. With the same knife, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my mom used to butter my bread with the chicken. <laughs> she would use the beak. She would stick the beak in butter and butter my bread. Yeah. 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 I'm still here. Good, good old days. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, are you the one that wrote that, Tracy? I, it sounds like something you would have wrote or not. Uh, because people remember. are passing around on Facebook about, you know, all the different things that that mothers used to do and that, you know, now is considered terrible. And they would, what was the one thing, something about uh, um, the kid slipped or something at the playground and, and hurt himself and they took him home and just get, put some mercure comb on the, on the, the sore. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, well, they, they would they would sue the school and, and you know, bring it to the lawyers and call 1-800- Huh? gravel and wood chips underneath yeah yeah, we had like yeah. cement underneath oh yeah swings. yeah ours were right. all cement yep. we're, we're like a yep. black yeah, top I, I cement to, with gravel i went to st francis st francis de sales school okay. and our entire playground was five tree stumps and three sewer pipes <laughs> fun <laughs> man that's fun and they were and they were like five foot like these huge sewer pipes so when it rained you know they still make you go outside. Somebody would just go cram in these sewer pipes. <laughs> <laughs> out of the rain. Then the bell would ring. We'd all scatter back in like rats. But yeah, we had we had tree stumps, which came into play a lot in like flag football. You turn around, there's a tree stump there, face Ooh. high. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of people. Hmm. Not hmm. no place for the for the week. You want to know why we're good at football? That's why. We had yeah. tree stumps and sewer pipes. That's our, <laughs> that's our playground. Not a swinging sight. Nothing. Well, Character just, builders, right there, is what those yeah, are. Yeah, that's just Character like the, builders, that's right. just like one thing you said too about the etch a sketch that that was your first laptop, you know. <laughs> but it's like I remember the etch a sketch, and the problem with me is my left hand doesn't work that well, so I never could make circles, so I had to make square people all the time, you know. So, but it was kind of yeah, rough. Like Legos. Yeah, <laughs> like Legos. Oh, yeah. 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 If, 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 if you didn't get that bat. curve thing just right, you couldn't really do you know that magical stuff. So. Right. So you take off the back, you can scratch in it. You know, you like, and it, it was like you use the thing, but you didn't use it. You could just take off the back and like, you know, write your name and like scratch stuff. Oh, and put the back oh, back. Okay. People thought you were, you know, a magician. <laughs> Look at that. If you combine that with your spirograph, you yeah, gold. I, See, I I know I knew there was somebody that was more warped than I was when you were a yeah. child. I knew there was somebody else out there. No, did you you probably tore tore apart, apart the uh, Stretch Armstrong too, right? I never had the Stretch Armstrong. Oh, okay. What the Bosma brothers had one. They you know. I think that was probably yeah. yeah, that was probably after your time. So. Stretch wow. Armstrong. Yeah. 
Stretch okay, that was Armstrong. that was Mark. I think Mark had the yep. Stretch Armstrong, yeah. I had, and then you had to find out what was inside of it. And even when you found, even when you opened it up, you still couldn't tell what the stuff was. It, I, right. You know, I don't know. Well, I, I have a. Did it taste good? A collection of uh, super super balls, like the original Whammo mm. super balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From 1963 is what's stamped on them. And I got them. We were doing a job in California, and there's this warehouse full of super balls. Wow. Because they said nobody knew what they were made of, so they, they considered them a hazmat material, so they couldn't bury them. <laughs> <laughs> so this, guy, this guy gave me a box of Super Balls of all different sizes. I still got them. And they, they bounce like they're right out of the... Because they say they have Super Balls now. They're nothing compared no, to those. No, nothing compared to those. Those things remember, would knock your eye like, out. The, yeah. The, the third hop would be like a thousand times faster yeah. than the first two hops. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody threw me a Super Ball. Hop, hop, hop. And then Bam. Bam. Yeah, right. Those zipping pad. Yeah, and they were just like rocks. Like oh yeah, balls. they went. You, and then stuff. you throw them. You get outside and you throw them as high. You know, hit them, the on the cement right. as high as hard as you could. And usually you lost your Super Ball because it bounced for right. about four and a half right. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you took one inside St. Francis Church and threw it, it would never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-five years is still bouncing around. How did the How did Father Don get knocked out? Well, the Super Bowl <laughs> came flying out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Blue chalice out of his hands. I thought it was a sign. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those? I God, I can't remember what the name of were, but they were, um, they were two hard balls Clackers. on a string, and you would go, it would clack Clackers. it back and forth. Clackers. I they were called clackers. clackers? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, because every kid in the neighborhood had arm like a heroin addict. It was all bruised up. Yeah, all yeah, because like, they, if they hit your uh, your hand or your arm, man, you'd hurt. But right, and you couldn't stop them. Like if you actually got on a clacker, 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 you just had to kind of like throw it like a bomb. Yeah, and if you just if you just stopped it normally, it would beat the hell out of your forearm. <laughs> but then we found out we used them as bolos, and then uh, my mom banned them. Yeah, yeah, the ankle, the ankles got banned. Little brother, you you just throw them like ankle high because you take the little thing they held on to, and it was. It was just two balls on a big string. Oh, you know what? So you, could, like, you know what I? Level and take them out. You know what I? <laughs> you know what I had, um, but until the mice got to them in my in my shed, were Jeez. a full set of jarts. I had yard oh, yard man, jarts. That's some money there. I know, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid oh. mice got to them, chewed up the yep. you know, the wings, and now yeah. let me ask a question to both of you: How many of you? Just when there was nothing going on, but you had the jart, would throw it straight up in the air and then try to run out of the way. You wouldn't get. How, how, come raise your hand if you. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, well, I try to get to land in my pocket. I don't care. Yeah, one of our yeah. kids. Yeah, one of our kids did it and hit the hit the windshield of a car one time. Oh, that was not good. He had to let go at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, because anybody playing within, you know, a hundred yard radius was likely to get wounded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Up, we're playing the hard ground, sharpen them up, get yeah. the grinder out. Yeah. I could just see with the, my, my 25 grandkids walking around and I we play a game of jarts. That probably wouldn't. You have 24. Yeah. 25. Done. Oh yeah. yeah I'd, I'd have 24. 24. Yeah. I probably have 20, but yeah. Yeah, those things were were. I mean, the the I still got the ends, of course. They couldn't chew the metal ends, but you know, those things yeah. weighed about five pounds a piece. Yeah, they were significant. Yeah, and they, they replaced some of the ones that were like a ball in the end, and they didn't. They bounced, and it yeah, just wasn't, wasn't the same. There's something in your in your DNA that sticking something into the ground like that. It's just, that's how it's supposed to be. Especially when you notice. I didn't notice, but screwdriver. You know, yeah, you know, I didn't. Out. I didn't know this, but they were actually officially banned in December of 1988 by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Oh yeah, 88 uh, took them that long. 80, 88, yeah, wow, 88, yeah. wow. Because I used to drive around in my Corvair with them in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anybody up for a game of jarts? That's right, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll come over. You know, it was really what was really cool is if you could throw that jart and make it go through the little hoop. I mean, go into the hoop. Right, sticking the yeah. into the hoop. Yeah, yeah that was that right. was pretty talented right there. As opposed to your brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah all those it's all those great buddy, games. Um, you get they... to be goalie today. What? Yeah, you gotta block the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> you know all these all these little accidents. All these little accidents. <laughs> yeah. All these little accidents that I said I had. The one accident that hurt the worst 
was, remember those little boards they had with a steering wheel on the front? You could actually, it was like skate wheels on the bottom. And it was just a flat board, and it had Mm -hmm. a little steering wheel on it. And you could either sit on it or you can lay on it and go down a hill or whatever. Right. And I did that, and these little skate wheels that they hit a uh, something higher than maybe a half an inch, they right. just stopped. <laughs> dead, dead stop. Yeah, dead stop. So uh, that's what I. Twenty-eight days of urethane. Yeah. <laughs> so I did that, and yeah, I did dead stop, and I went flying over and just slid all the way down the the uh, cement hill. It was just a wonderful experience. I remember that. Lots of mercurial on that day. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Your mom put it on with a roller. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> getting all the little gravel out. That was that was ter- You know, that was horrible because I mean, you go take a bath. It was like you didn't want to get in the tub. You know, because right. any of it. Yeah, let's take well, the, the skin right off your body. Like, maybe you don't know. I remember this from a marketing class at Michigan State. When it first came out, it didn't hurt, and nobody would buy it. And then they put alcohol in it, and it hurt, and then everybody bought it. Really. They thought if it didn't hurt, it wasn't working. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, the, and Electrolux made a vacuum cleaner that was silent, and nobody would buy the vacuum cleaner because they thought it didn't work because it was quiet. Quiet. Yeah. So, hmm. so you got to have uh, you got to have noise and pain, or people won't buy your product. <laughs> <laughs> got to do that marketing, man. Yeah. yeah. Ranger Bob knows about that marketing stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. And if you can get both at the same time, then you really got a product right there. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can avoid. Pain and noise. Yeah, you got it. It's it's a seller, big seller. Yeah, you got my right carry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so is it? Can you think of anything else though that they banned? I can't remember anything else that they they took off the market. Uh, uh, I mean, Whammo made a bunch of it, but what yeah, was... Whammo was my hero when I was a kid, man. Yeah. You wanted anything that Whammo made because mm-hmm. it was. <laughs> It was right on the edge. It was dangerous, yeah. <laughs> and there was well, the thing with the Whammo products was there's like four or five other uses that they hadn't thought of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you could what you could do with them, much like the jerk. Yeah, I love the Whammo. Are they still in business? I don't I don't I know I don't think so, but then again, who I don't know. You guys ever heard of Aqua you ever you ever heard of Aqua Dots? Those were banned. Whatever those were. Aqua dots? Aqua dots. I don't even know what it is. No. Atomic Laboratory Kits, that was banned. Barbie and Tanner, another thing that was banned. Huh. Oh. Yeah, well, just like the, uh, you know, when you when you were a kid and your, your parents thought you were going to be a scientist and they bought you the whole um, kit yeah. with the, you know, with the microscope and all the different chemicals, yeah, you, you just kind of like mixed everything together and hoped something, some kind of explosion would happen, you know, so. Clackers, was, clackers uh, were banned. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I knew those were banned, yeah. Easy I Bake Oven. Was really? Banned? That was yeah. banned? Huh. I, cook my I still have clackers downstairs, yellow ones. Do you really? Oh, wow. Yep. It'd probably explode if I, you know, used them now. <laughs> yeah. But when I, was, when I was like 10, my parents got me a biology set. It was like in a metal box you open up with a microscope. Yeah, yeah. But in there was a frog and a giant, like, shrimp to dissect. Hmm. And there was a set of scalpels. Like real scalpels. <laughs> wow. You got <laughs> the like advanced kit. Like frog open. Yeah, like, I can't believe like, you're still alive now. I know. Just with everything you've mentioned. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not Oscar. I haven't, I've not fallen off a bike yet. I'm, I'm relatively <laughs> That's true. Free. You haven't been hit by a car yet. So, you know. I was more of a suggester. Like, hey, you know, it'd be cool. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Dude, that kind of dude. Okay. That inner tube and went down the dude. Okay. <laughs> I had a friend like. <laughs> I had a friend like that too. He'd say we he was his name was Mike. We used to just have him do the, the stupid stuff, and of course, unfortunately, I usually ended up winding up falling into the stupid stuff. But anyway, no, I avoided. That's when I was younger. Uh, one of my nicknames was Bugs because I would never get in trouble. Everybody else, <laughs> I would like suggest stuff, and like everybody else would like Bugs Bunny. They would do it, <laughs> and, and I would watch it, and then I would never, I'd never get caught. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you because know, we made um, remember tennis ball cannons, mm-hmm. like those. Yeah. Yep. Well, then we decided if you soak the tennis ball in gas, then you got like a flaming tennis ball, <laughs> <laughs> which is way cooler. No, 
People that are listening at home, don't attempt any of this stuff that Tracy Lorenz is talking about. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, remember cap bombs? No. You make a cap bomb? I take hear. a roll of caps. Oh, yeah, yeah, take yeah. A, yeah. Take like a safety pin and accordion the caps around the safety pin. So the pin goes through every individual little thing of, you know, gunpowder. Yeah. Did you ever do that? No. Then no. You wrap, then you, oh, yeah. So you, you, you accordion it around like that. So the pin goes through every little dot. Then you wrap it in tape with some uh, matches for, you know, ignition. <laughs> and you light it, and the thing would blow up like a bomb. Because <laughs> 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 they would all go off at once. And so you, you still have all your fingers, that, right? Yeah. Yeah. One time we did that. My friend Mark Crandall, he's pulling the pin out with his teeth. And it blows up, and you hear him going, <laughs> and he reaches way back in his throat, and he pulls the pin out of his, his oh, throat. Oh, <laughs> like no. Yeah, oh. It, was, it was that close to Because everything was right on the edge of, like, um, remember Snappin' Pops? Oh, I still have those. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to get, like, a case of Snappin' Pops and make the world's biggest Snappin' Pop. <laughs> like just pouring it, so it's like a it's like a pile of uh of wily coyote birdseed pie pile of this snap and pop stuff <laughs> in newspaper. But we didn't know that it blew up by friction. So as we're wrapping the newspaper up, you know, the whole thing exploded. <laughs> oh, we had snap and pop shrapnel in our eyes. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. That was, that was a big explosion there. Yeah. And then we had kids on the end of our street, the Wages brothers that blew up their house. They were making a smoke bomb. <laughs> like, like, like from the, you know, anarchist handbook smoke bomb. Not, they were older kids. They were radical hippies. Were they, did they go to Catholic school? They went to Mona Shores. No. Oh. So, so they, were, they were making, their parents were home and they were making this bomb as a smoke bomb on the kitchen stove. They had to cook it. And one brother's reading and one brother is cooking. And the brother reads, do not stop stirring. And the other brother stops stirring to say, what? And the whole thing blew up. And smoke is pouring out of this house like you wouldn't believe. It was a... Did they make did they make it? <laughs> did they what? Did they make it? Did they live? Oh yeah, they lived. There were there were some burns, but mostly it was smoke. And it was just nonstop. Yeah. Just pouring out of this house, yeah. The wages. They're legends of Catholic. They're legends. They're legends. <laughs> oh, I, I, mean, I, tell you, I was maybe 10, so it was like you couldn't get cooler than the Wages Brothers blowing up their house taking a <laughs> war protest smoke oh, bomb. Oh, jeez. Was that what it was? A war protest smoke bomb? Yes, yeah, so this is in the Vietnam area. So oh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, the Wages <laughs> blowing up their freaking house. Then they built another bomb, you know, living in the dunes. They were always blowing stuff up, so they, like, word got out, okay, this is the bomb they're going to build is the bomb. So us little kids, we got to sneak up there behind the bushes like Caddyshack and watch. So they dig this hole, and they put the bomb inside it, and then they put a metal bucket on the top of it. <laughs> and it must have blown that bucket 200 feet in the air, and it blew the sides out like a daisy. So now it's like this sharp <laughs> daisy of death that is spinning coming down, coming towards the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> And that was that was like the last bomb I remember. After that, they went, you know, maybe we should slow down on the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that was a pretty big one. I mean, it made a crater, even after they dug the hole. And yeah. they stuck a they stuck a metal bucket over. There. I don't know whose idea that was. Yeah, let's put a bucket over here. <laughs> now, my my suggestion, we you know, we used to build rockets. Yeah. You know, with little oh, yeah. rocket fuel things. So we grew up in the dunes with those, and we're like, well, what if we put a mouse in the paper? <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? So one time we thought, okay, what if we put like five times the charge, you know, the, the engines that yeah, you put in them? Yeah. You know, put it like five times of that, but we fill the payload with pennies. So it's like really heavy. <laughs> so this thing is just like, it takes off like it's supposed to, and we lose it, you know, because you can't see it. It went so high. Yeah. So we're like, oh, well, we'll never find it now. And the parachute obviously didn't work. So we're walking, and you hear this like, and probably five feet away, this thing stuck in the ground like a giant jart. Oh, if it would hit man. me on the top of the head, it would have went right through and come oh, out yeah. my foot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it probably weighed three pounds of <laughs> penny, penny-laden rocket. Yeah. How Everybody kind of stood there like that, like, oh. 
I gotta ask you, how did how did you tie a mouse to the rocket to make it no, fly it like straight? No, it's a little payload you could open up. They you was. Open up and put, you could open up and put stuff in it. Oh, okay. I don't remember those like rockets. Um, yeah, yeah, you must have got the got oh, the these were, industrial these rockets. Were yeah, these, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these were, yeah, these were like four feet tall. Oh, the big ones. ones. Okay, yeah. I just had the small the ones. ones. Yeah. You had to hook to a battery. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a, it had like a little nine or whatever. Yeah, mine, mine too. But they were the little ones. They weren't that. They weren't four foot tall. They were like maybe oh, no. a foot tall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, just one nine. engine didn't take like four or five like you did. Yeah. No, we would we would cram them in there, extra engines, <laughs> shoot them out of the lake. Yeah, I had a friend with a with a remote control plane. Yeah. You know, like from Radio Shack, and we we're flying that up and do is it took off over the lake and it got out of range and. Heading towards Milwaukee. <laughs> Nothing anybody could do. <laughs> we just stood there and watched it. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's no uh, dead man switch to bring it back. It, yeah. it just, yeah. Yeah. Not like the oh. drones today. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't going back. <laughs> Another kid built one of those planes that's on a string, but it's gas. Like, right. you know, yeah. You know, stay around your head. Him and his dad spent forever building this thing, and then they bring it over to Lincoln Park, and they're gonna, you know, have its maiden flight. So all the kids pack around to watch this big main flight of the plane, and like they're gonna let his mom do it, and it just like, <laughs> like she made it made an arc like a rainbow instead of a circle. So it just went from her right arm to her left arm, just like, Wah! and it, you know, the whole flight was less than a second. <laughs> blew up a zillion pieces. Like, oh, there you go. There's your two hundred dollar gas engine plane. Whoa! Well, what they they built it from a kit like a like a wooden plane? Yeah, well, it was like plastic, I think. But oh, yeah, it okay. had like an actual gas engine on it. Yeah, it was like official. And it was on the end of a rope, and you just spun around in circles. Yeah, I, I had a couple. I had a couple of the hammer. I had a couple of those, but they were like pretty heavy plastic. So of course they were older. So I don't know if that was. It was like a, no, this thing. This thing had no hope of survival. It was like she spiked <laughs> it in the ground. But you would, you would spin them around in a circle, and they would keep going. And you're spinning yeah. around in the circle, and then finally, it was like you were ready to fall over. So you had to do something. You had to land it, or otherwise, you were going to fall over and crash it anyway. So yeah, you could stick your arm up like a tether ball. And yeah, just wrap around it. So. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, you got a bad. Yeah, give me a pipe. Hold the pipe up. Oh yeah. my. Yeah. The other things that I'm climbing up, we used to climb on roofs to get the, you know, you go up on a Saturday and you have the whole week's worth of frisbees and kickballs and super balls up on the roof of the school. Yeah. Yeah. You go up there and you come down like, um, like your dick sporting goods, like your MP. <laughs> you have so much stuff. <laughs> You'd have to let it ferment for a week. You go up every week, but you know, yeah. you wait a while and go up there and it was, and it was the good stuff. It was real frisbees. Not these fake, like, radio station frisbees. <laughs> <laughs> those were fake? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know those are yeah. cheap well, ones. One time, WTRU had, a like, a frisbee contest at Catholic Central. And so me and my friends went, and it's like, you know, who could throw it the farthest and most accurate stuff. We get there, I was like, what the hell are these? These are, like, little fake frisbees. They didn't even have, like, the little ridges on the top. There was no control of them. It was a, it was a sham. It was like, <laughs> like little plastic <laughs> plates or something. Yeah. Like, what the hell is this? My dog would even fetch this thing. I don't know. I like real frisbees. And I think we brought our own frisbees and said, no, you can't use these. you got to use Oh, yeah. Like, That's, you, you can't do that. It's it's in the rules, right? Yeah. You got to yeah. use the TRU with frisbees. <laughs> that was Fred Tascone probably bought them. He probably said, no, we're not buying the yeah. good ones. We're buying these. Yeah. Yeah. We're we'll buying get, get these in bulk. Yeah, yeah we'll get right these in bulk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we ever give away Frisbees at Sunny FM, Ranger? Uh, I don't know if I recall. You had to. I yeah, you think you had to. Little, I think we, like, little plastic footballs, did we do that? I think yeah, we did that. yeah, plenty of footballs. We gave away a lot of, a lot of pop. I know that we just, pop and pizza seem to be... Yeah. Oh, you know, my favorite thing was the, uh, for one, one summer, they thought it'd be a good idea for us to take out a hot dog machine where you, where you sort of, oh, yeah. uh, Boil oh, the hot dogs in water. Yeah. Right. But they'd never change the water. Yeah. Nummy. And I just remember there would be this, there would, we would have to, people would come up and eat these hot dogs. And I was like, I cannot, I, I, yeah. I it, it was. Conscience. You know, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it was, 
<laughs> had to have sign a waiver just to eat one. Yeah. I just like, didn't really going to eat that? It's turning green. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Oh, jeez. Remember, remember TRU? St. Patrick a, Hot Dog. Uh, they had a promotion at the Froenthal, some um, catering, like high-end catering company, and it was open to the public, and everyone from downtown Muskegon showed up to that high-end catering. Oh, and they yeah. Were, you know, yeah, it's free. Filling their purse with crab puffs. And it was just a, <laughs> And you see the people that are supposed to be, they're just exiting fast, heading to their cars. Yeah. And here comes all the guys on bikes with uh, a bag of cans on the handlebars and hopping <laughs> off and... Eating like they've never eaten before. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's that's Muskegon, like man. That's Muskegon. Muskegon loves free. That's why yeah, I fit into then, this town so well, because I love free. You always find the free stuff. You got to find the free yeah. stuff. If it's if it's got to be either free or it's got to be a beer tent. That's the only reason, the only way you're yeah. going to go. Yeah. Well, when I worked in Grand Rapids, I worked at Adam Chan. We were both single. We knew every free, like, happy hour like this one had hot dogs one night and then this one had like corn dogs and this one had you know tacos so every night we would just find a different hotel that had these specials and we'd just go there and eat for free well you probably went to the hilton a few times right because i mean at at first yeah, they always had it yeah we had, i mean at first they were serving like shrimp and all kinds of great stuff right. you know in the, in the buffet and then yeah. of course you know that's what people would do they come they'd eat the food they wouldn't buy a drink and they'd leave so then yeah. he started getting that like you know Corn chips yeah, and but, <laughs> you know <laughs> stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. generic, generic, yeah, yeah, generic corn chips. Yeah, hey, yeah, come get yeah. your buffet. <laughs> well, Muskegon always seems to come back to food. See, you got rid of the exercise with the frisbee and replaced it with hot dogs. So yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. So it's all your fault. T.R.U. Yeah. once had a had a um, contest to win a car, the Jello jump. You had to jump in a thing full of Jello and get a key, and if your key worked. You, so my, my friends and I go down there, and we're thinking you're going to jump in this big thing of Jello, you know, and like it would be cool. And, you, and they basically just filled up a, a dumpster with water and oh, poured some great. Jello in it, which at no point turned into Jello. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know Jello has to be cold, so it's just red water. <laughs> in the car, the car was like a like a used '82 Citation, yep. yeah. a red one, and you can see where they just spray painted over the rust. <laughs> yes, it was a. I remember it was a red citation. So yes, yeah, so you, you had to get a ladder and then climb up into the dumpster, and then feel around in the ground. You know, to like dive in, like feel around to find a key. And you got out with your key, and they made everybody wait with the key, and then try them all. You know, at the end. And they hose, they hose you off with this like cold hose. So I'm watching this. I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna wait like to the end because every time somebody came out, they wicked away. You know, another quarter inch of water out of the dumpster. <laughs> So by the time I got in there, it was like shin deep, and I'm feeling around like a like a crane, like a heron. Yeah. And the, the guy's like, "No, no, you got to go in." I'm like, "I'm not going in." He was like, "I find a key." So I get a key, and you know, I get out. Some people have house keys, and some, you know, you can tell that I at least had a car key, and you had to try it in the door, and if it opened, then you got the uh, you got the car. But I had the car key. It went in, but it did not open the door. Oh. A, guy, a guy named Richard Hagee won it. I don't know why I remember that, but his name. Richard Hagee. Because he because it pissed you off because you wanted that car. <laughs> you... I did not want once I saw the car, I'm like, I mean I want it for the sake of saying I want a car, but uh yeah. I wasn't driving the thing. It was yeah, a four door monarch. Oh, it was four Another days. satisfied radio listener right there. Yeah, satisfied yeah. radio. <laughs> yeah, they're actually asking live, like, what's your name, son? And like I'm not telling you. <laughs> I got to go way through Jello in a dumpster in a parking lot. We used to write copy for TRU. Did was that before that or? This was before. Yeah, yeah that was okay. in high school. I was like a, I was like a junior in high school. Yeah. <laughs> when we did the did the Jello jump. Yeah, Jello. There was no Jello. Yeah. They could have at least made some Jello and like dumped it in there so a little Jello could be floating around or something. But no, this is just a a dumpster full of red water. <laughs> Yeah, I think we did. I think we did spam wrestling that way. It was it was yeah. like you know a couple cans of spam and then like forty gallons of water, and it just looked like yeah. throw up. You know, yeah, yeah it, it, well, so does spam anyway. But yeah, 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 yeah. But well, like really well, runny. This was a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sounds like T. Kind of sounds like TRU. This was a dumpster that we were jumping into. <laughs> kind of well, sounds. I'm sure. I'm sure they washed it. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. And then tipped it over so all the water could run out. Yeah. <laughs> it 
it was a good sized dumpster full of uh you know water and food coloring yeah that she argues i did win a uh a pan am uh carry bag once and they're calling in a pan am carry bag yeah Ooh. Like, you know, a plug thing. <laughs> yeah it's blue yeah. it's a pan am on it yeah i used to have one of those sweet was it just a call-in thing or did you have to answer like a, a trivia question or something i think it was just calling just yeah. a call-in okay it just had to be the right number now yeah. when i worked there there was a game where you had to guess the like, like there was a dollar like 244 dollars and 15 cents and people call in, they go high right. and lower. You know, right. Down and down. Well, there was this one guy, and I can remember his name, give me a second, who would call in and win every time. Yep. And it wouldn't even be that close, you know, as far as the range goes. And he would call and get the number. So Fred Tesco was like, okay, somebody's a friend with this guy. They're telling the number. So I will write this number. I'll be the only one that knows this number. It'll be in an envelope. Nobody can know this number. And he would just give a thumbs up or thumbs down for, you know, if it's high or low. So this guy calls in. He nails the number. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, <laughs> Fred opens the envelope up, and they're like, there's the number. And like, ah. So then they, they quit having the contest because this guy guessed the number every time. He won it every time. Wow. <laughs> yep. There, there was always somebody Did like he, that. Fred, Fred was accusing everybody of being this oh, friend. Oh, yeah, the inside how, guy. Yeah. How, are you giving this, how are you giving this guy the number? And like, you know, we're not giving him the number. <laughs> no, there, we always he had somebody. We we always had somebody that had the special powers of either winning all the time. Just yeah, there yeah. was. There's always somebody. Always. I don't know when I worked at WZZR. I don't know how it was at TRU. When they had any contest with the drawing, they would go through the like the winners to find the winner that fit the demographic. <laughs> she, sounds, she sounds old, so they throw that one where they draw another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sound old. Yeah. <laughs> Martha, well, Martha sounds too old to win this contest. Yeah, so it would always be behind the scenes that would have the drawing and then come out with, you know, someone who fit what they were supposed to fit. So Martha never knew that she won this contest. So anyway, any more toys that you could think of that you played with when you were a kid that, I mean, you know, just yeah. like just like bikes, though. Today. You remember bikes, when you had a 20-inch bike with a banana seat and um, butterfly handlebars and the cheater bar in the back and this big slick in the back. I mean, it was, a, it was a five speed. Bar. That was a not a cheater bar. Sissy it's not bar. a cheater bar. With sissy bar. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. Yep. So you could pop There's the wheelies. In the neighborhood that wanted, wanted to pop wheelies would be cool because yeah. the girls are watching. And he had yeah. a stingray. So yeah, he stingray. Pops wheelie, he's pops the wheelie. As he's in the air, the front tire falls off. <laughs> Oh Jesus! So, so then he goes forward. Yeah. And the the forks stick in the ground. Yeah. Yep. He's propelled like a mouse trap forward, and his ribs go right between those handlebars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't, and we can't get him out. He's stuck. Oh Jesus! And, and we we probably could have pulled him apart and got him out. We were laughing so hard that you know we couldn't <laughs> extract him. So as everybody like the whole neighborhood's watching, he's got to walk home attached to the bike, like bent over. <laughs> he's he's got to walk. <laughs> I call it the walk of shame. Walk a, a tiny bike with a tire in one hand. Wow! Wow! Yeah, we did, we we did that too with the when it was uh, two guys that were racing. One guy had a stingray, but one guy had this bike that he built with the extended forks. Right. You know, oh, he, yeah. he extended them way out to you know that's what it was the chopper, I guess they called it. Mm -hmm. And anyway, he so he they were racing, and of course his forks fell off because he didn't attach them. He just shoved them in right. there. <laughs> Yeah, so the same thing happened to him, but he didn't. He didn't get the bars, the bars between his ribs. But he did slide across that cement pretty hard. But anyway, yeah. well, nobody because you just ride on the handlebars. Oh yeah, you never yep. see anything. You never see two no. on a bike anymore. No. So Tim Bolma is riding on the handlebars. Mike Morquas is riding the bike, and Tim is playing a song on the spokes with his heel. Ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> 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 and he's, he's playing probably a Uri Heap song as he's doing that. Probably, yeah. Yeah, easy living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at one point, his, his heel got just a little bit too far into those spokes, and it was over. There we go. Oh, That's yeah. a pretty good clip. Oh, yeah. I've seen yeah. that before. So I took out, took out two guys in one uh, one heel song. Yeah. Yeah, they were, there was a lot of mercurial in that day. <laughs> That's right. Or, That's or right. Methylate. Or you just know. the back team you would spray on. 
You know, we used to we used to take bets too, as far as because you know we're a bunch of paper boys. We'd all get together. We you know it was like an ice road. The road was just pure ice. Right. Mount Clemens, you know, it did, really didn't get much snow. It was mainly ice we got. So anyway, the roads were pure ice, and and we we'd see who could go the farthest on the ice on their on their bike with their papers, you know. So <laughs> yeah. I I never yeah, I never won. We, we used to water the road. Yeah. And, yeah. could, and then we'd take our sleds and put sails on them. <laughs> you were creative, you man. Like, Very creative. You could like, yeah, with the wind coming up the lake, you'd sail down the road. And then cars would come and, you know, they would also sail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to sneak water on bottles and glass and throw water on the road till we had the whole road just nice and nice down, nice and smooth. And off we'd go on our sleds with sails. Couldn't see a thing. Cause it, the sail was basically a like a sheet between two sticks. That you held up right in front of your face, so you couldn't see where you were going, but you were going there fast. Yeah, you know, people would try to give you hints. So, if a car by. was coming and they had an ice road, it was like impossible for anybody to stop, right? All right, is there a way well, you yeah, could you steer can. it to the side or anything, or no? No, oh, no, oh no, there was no <laughs> steering. No, <laughs> no, no, you, you stopped the Fred, something when Fred you left Flintstone, the and... you stopped. Uh, well, because we'd, we'd go out and, you know, then we'd throw snowballs at cars and they'd slam on the brakes, but they'd be on this road that we just iced <laughs> down. <laughs> so they'd never so, stop, yeah. So they never stop, so they'd just go in and, you know, come out the other end. Because back then when it used to snow, like now it doesn't snow, you'd build snow, there'd be the snow banks and you'd hollow them out like a habit trail. Oh, yeah. So we'd have the snow banks going from house to house in, you know, and the big part next to the driveway, you could hollow out like a cave. So we'd go in there and we'd have little... You know, portholes you could pop out and throw the snowballs and duck back inside. Nobody ever suspected that where the snowballs were coming from inside the snow forts. That's you know that uh, that brain I think back then. That brain comes from Catholic school. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I spent most of my days planning how to kill nuns. I spent as much time doing my homework as I spent how to, how, how to end Sister Claudette's life. <laughs> I'd, have been, I'd have been way ahead. There were creative measures. What if I tied her to the drawbridge and it opened up and then, you know, ripped her in two? That'd be a cool one. <laughs> See, you thought I was bad, Ranger Bob. Come on now with the G.I. Joe thing. Come on. I tell you what, I... I, I'm I'm winded just hearing everything. Know, Where'd you find the time to do all this stuff? Know, Holy right? smokes! <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Yeah, we had nothing else to do. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously. Wow. <laughs> and nothing to do, and you're just up. You know, it's, it's it was a good playground to be in. The it sounded like it. Yes, man. Yeah. You've you've lived like four or five <laughs> lifetimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was left for dead in three separate deserts. <laughs> <laughs> I came back every yeah. time. <laughs> and, and my sister thought I was the bad kid. I mean, come on, you know, she's never met you, that's for sure. Oh. Well, of course, the nun thing was a little bit too much, but yeah, okay, yeah. You never met Sister Claudette. She broke through <laughs> my fingers and marked me after. <laughs> tardy. Yeah. Because when you're running down the hall, and it's gonna be it's gonna be close. And it, when the bell rang, she shut the door, and she's watching me running towards the door. So the bell rings, she's shutting the door. I make my leap to you know stick my arm in there to block it, and she slams two fingers in the door, breaks two fingers during basketball season. Ooh, floods everywhere. And, she, and, and I'm like, sister, I think I gotta go to the office. She goes, I'm gonna have to mark you tardy. Like, okay. wow. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Snapping blood in her eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's this. Yeah. The class where didn't fit. Okay. The claw. Yeah, they were they were pretty th- nuns back in those days. They were pretty pretty rough. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Just just her, just the claw. She was the only one that the I mean, claw. anybody that went to Catholic Central knew that there was the it was like Vietnam. You just give each other the nod, like yeah, I had the claw. <laughs> I, mean, just, I had her for four years, and she called me Lance. Every class. Lance. <laughs> uh, Lance? We had a hero. This kid was a hero. He's a, he was an exchange student from Germany, and his house burned down. 
well, first, first before was it the brothers that did it? He, he's, he's in there and he's uh, he takes out his lunch to eat lunch on his desk in front of Sister Claudette. And it's like, oh my god, this kid is a I guess you can do that in Europe. So she shut him down that. So, like a couple months later, his house legitimately burned down. And he comes into class, and Sister Claudette is like, Where's your book, Trigva? And he goes, My house burned down. And she goes, Well, where's your book? And he goes, I throwed it in. <laughs> <laughs> he was the absolute hero. I throwed it in. <laughs> <laughs> burned his book. And that was the last we ever saw him. So. Yeah. He was out of there, and he, then he had to go to uh, Reese Puff or something because the uh, you know, house burned down. Oh, I thought maybe yeah. the sister did something to him. I, th- I think it might have helped the cause. Yeah. But, you know, he got him out of there. But, yeah, Trigva Matheson. Well, I, just, I had, a, I had a, a teacher that was, she wasn't quite that bad. She'd never slam my fingers in anything, but uh, she'd make you go to the cloat, they call it the cloat room. The coat room is what it was, but the cloat room, I don't know why it was called cloat, but anyway, and, and stand in the corner if you did something. And of course I would always did something. So it's like second grade and I always did something. So she'd always stick me in the cloat room and then she'd say stuff like I was trying to peek through the door and she'd go, Oh, Mr. Osbo, why is he peeking through the door? You know, all that kind of stuff and making you feel like an idiot in front of the class, you know, but I spent a lot of time out there and everybody was afraid of this woman. So there, I was out there in the cloak room with another guy who got stuck out of the cloak room and he had to go to the bathroom and he'd said, he, I won't mention his name because he, he's a friend of mine on Facebook these days. But anyway, he had to go to the bathroom and he was too afraid to go and ask her that he could go oh, to the yeah. bathroom. That's how afraid he was of this teacher from second grade. Oh, and he peed his pants right, right there in the cloak room and then wiped it up oh, with the girl's man. sweater. <laughs> It was like, <laughs> I'm watching this and I'm saying, go tell her, you got to go. You know, I yeah, should have said know. something myself, but he's anyway. Doing, he's doing the dance. Yeah. He's doing the poopy dance. Yeah. Poor guy. I mean, you know, that's how scared they were of this teacher. Yeah. That so. could scare you. Yeah. Because none other than, other than the claw, and the claw was just a tough teacher. She wasn't necessarily mean. She was just difficult. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, all the nuns, the nuns were great. It was the brothers, because the nuns would tell the brothers. Like, hey, see that kid over there? He was getting in trouble. So you had to worry about the brothers, but the nuns were, uh, you know, he, he could come. Would down. the brothers take you out back and box you or what? And the brothers would, yeah, you you would hear, see the brother, like, stick his head in the, you know, classroom and, like, point at the kid and do the little finger, like, come here thing. Then you'd hear <laughs> lockers go, bam, 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 <laughs> from the hallway. <laughs> then the kid would come back in, like, oh, yeah, I get the point now. Yeah, yeah. And that's the sister Gervais. Sister Gervais, she was the one that had uh, um, Parkinson's real bad. She, like, shook. Yeah. Real bad. <laughs> so we, we took a, a bell with a little clip on it and clipped it on the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> looking are cool. all over like, where's that noise coming from? <laughs> <laughs> a little bell clip in the back of her head. <laughs> That's it. The show's over right there. Show is over. (laughs) (laughs) That's the last thing. One we had um, we had these little these little clicker things that sound like crickets, like clicker, clicker. It's like it's like a metal thing. Yeah. So we got four of us in the four corners of the room, and she was pretty old. So like, like I'd go like clicker, 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 and she just kind of like wander over there, like, what is that sound? And then as soon as she got near me, I quit. And the kid in the other corner got quick. quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> so she was just kept walking around this room trying to find out where the sound was. And we got her heads down like we're, you know, reading and stuff. And then she'd have her back just quick. quick, quick. <laughs> so for whole, and the whole class knew what was going on and nobody broke. Everybody just stayed dead sober. Oh, and watched this woman walk around the room trying to find out where this clicking sound was coming from. And they wonder why teachers don't want to teach anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I wonder one, why. Time, one time she left. Like she got called down the office, like, you know, first grade, come on out. So she left, and there's an empty classroom across the hallway. And I go, come on, let's just read this. Everybody go over there. <laughs> so we completely go across and completely sit in the same spots. We took the stuff off her desk. We did everything, just moved it to the other side, took her little lecture and stuff. So she comes back and she walks in the room, and it's completely empty. And she looks across the hallway, and we're all in there doing our homework and stuff, like nothing happened. And everything is right, except it's in a different class. <laughs> and she came in and never said a word. She just like looked around like, hmm, hmm, yeah. 
<laughs> she, was, she was losing it. She never said a word. Yeah. Four feet, but she she had to be 130, <laughs> top, about four feet tall, and shaking like a leaf. Yeah. So look at, well, it's just like the second grade teacher. She was about department. she was about four foot tall too, and and everybody was afraid of her. You know, I think it's because she was so old that she looked kind of like a skeleton walking around. You know, she was yeah. real skinny, so she had those those eyes were like so deep right. set because she looked like she just you know, yeah, like Mother Teresa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sort of, kind of, yeah. But anyway, 